Welcome to Vermont Fish and Wildlife's Invasive Species Program Leap. These videos and accompanying web pages will help you to locate, identify, evaluate and treat, and prevent the spread of these invasive species. This video covers buckthorn. Common buckthorn seems to really like fertile soils or limey soils, so it's most prevalent in the Champlain Valley. It'll spread into old fields and such, but it can persist under a closed canopy. Glossy buckthorn is similar to the common buckthorn, likes more fertile areas, but it's maybe less particular. Uh, it often grows in wetter areas, but I've seen it in sandy areas too, so it has much broader tolerance, as it seems. This plant is a common buckthorn, and the thing that's most distinctive to me is it has these veins that you can see curve and follow the curve of the leaf. And the other thing about it is you can see the edge of the leaf, it has all these little teeth on the edge. And the other thing that's kind of distinctive about it is you'll sometimes find, you'll sometimes find a few leaves that are almost opposite each other on the stem, like that. And you'll also sometimes find a few thorns here or there. It's called a buckthorn, so it has a few little thorns sometimes. This tree is a very, it's a small tree, but it can actually get 15 feet tall or so. And this one even has flowers on it. They have, you often don't catch them in flower, but they've got these little green four-petaled flowers that will turn into blackish blue fruits. The difference between this and the glossy buckthorn is that this tree has teeth, the glossy buckthorn does not have any of those teeth at the edge of the leaf. It actually is completely smooth at the edge, and it's a little bit bigger leaf like this, a little bit glossier, being the glossy buckthorn. The buckthorn can form monocultures, the dense stands in the understory, and, and inhibit natural regeneration. The berries are cathartic, so they pass through you very quickly, though they don't have much nutritional value, but birds will eat them nonetheless. The drawback to that is they don't get much nutrition from them, and then they, the seeds will pass right through them and that's how it, it can spread into adjacent areas pretty easily. Like a lot of shrubs, the best time to get it is when they're small. You can pull out seedlings, and you can dig out small plants, or you use a weed wrench for bigger plants. And then bigger plants still, you can cut and then cover with black plastic or tarp. And you may need to use herbicide for a really dense concentration of them which is probably best done by a professional. So you just need to be vigilant and pull out uh, young plants when you see them. If you have a, a large plant, even if you can't control it, if you can't get it out, if you could you know, cut back the flowers and fruit so it doesn't produce fruit, would keep it from spreading. For more information about buckthorn, contact Vermont Fish and Wildlife.